I received an email a couple of weeks ago from a young lady. She's in her 20s and she's dating her pastor. In the email, she had just a couple of questions. One of the questions that she asked me is how to prepare yourself if you're dating someone that's more spiritual than you are. And so you're trying to develop a good relationship with God so that you will be ready spiritually in your role as being a new pastor's wife. Another question that was asked in the email was how to find a mentor and the importance of having a mentor. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the importance of having a mentor when you are new in ministry. If you haven't watched my first video, make sure after you get done with this video that you go back and watch part one. I just want to share just a little about myself. I've been married for 31 years and a pastor's wife for 30 years now. And just looking back over my life and some of the difficult things that I went through, I remember wishing that I had someone that I could talk to, someone that understood me, and most importantly, someone that I could trust. So I create videos for pastor's wives because I want them to be able to thrive and enjoy their role of being a pastor's wife. And I also create videos about being a submissive wife, being a mom and also a stepmom. So if any of those topics interest you, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. I was 22 when I became a pastor's wife. I remember for a long time, I felt that I didn't fit the role. And you would think being that my mom was a pastor and she started pastoring when I was a baby. I did have the upper hand, but even though I knew a lot about church and people, what you should and what you shouldn't do, I still felt that I wasn't qualified because of my personality being so different than the pastor's wives that I had been around. The churches that I have been around all of my life have been the small churches. And what I noticed is that all of the pastor's wives that seemed to be just alike. For example, they were very outgoing. A lot of them preached. They were more like co-pastors and they enjoyed the spotlight. And so that's what I felt that I should have been like as well. I'm very introverted, so I'm totally opposite. I don't like the spotlight. I like to not be seen. I'm more comfortable with just working in the background assisting my husband, but not in a way to where I'm active in the church services. I was the opposite from what I had seen as a pastor's wife. I felt that I wasn't qualified and I didn't value the gifts that God had given me because I compared myself to other pastor's wives. I didn't know it back then, but I do realize it now how that I needed a mentor. I needed someone to speak life into me. And I also needed someone to teach me what I needed to focus on and what a real pastor's wife is and not to focus on things or areas in my life that I wasn't good at, but to blossom in the gifts that God had given me and focusing on those things instead of, of things that I couldn't do. I needed someone to tell me that. Another reason why it's good to have a mentor in your life when it comes to being a pastor's wife is because you're gonna need to be able to find balance in your life. Even though your life is all about ministry, you still need to do things that separate from the ministry. One of the main disadvantages that I experienced as a married woman is that my whole life focused around the ministry, my husband and my children. And I kind of like forgot about who I was and the gifts that God had put inside of me got lost. So I needed a mentor, someone to teach me the importance of finding who I am and flourishing in my gifts while I help my husband with the church. Another reason why it's very important to have a mentor in your life when it comes to ministry is because that 
It is very lonely when you start going through something personally in your marriage. And in every marriage, I don't care if the person is saved or not, you're going to have some difficulties. And the reason why is because two people are trying to become one. And not only that, no one is perfect. So when I started having problems in my marriage, I felt alone and I felt like I didn't have anyone I could talk to. And the reason why I was so private about my personal life is because you have to be when you are married to a pastor. So you just can't go and just talk to someone and to be truthful with that person because you're scared that they're going to tell someone else. And one thing I know personally is that when you are married to someone in ministry, it's like you have a cold and you have to cover for each other. You are your husband's keeper and he's your keeper as well. So you want to make sure that you're not sharing things that can ruin your mate or the ministry. So after going through that difficult season in my marriage, that is when I had a deep desire to start helping new pastors' wives because I didn't want them to go through what I went through and feel like that they are alone. No one understands. So that's why I start creating videos about ministry life and giving tips out for other pastors' wives so that I can help them to blossom in their role as a pastor's wife and to hold their hand so that they won't feel like that they are alone. By me not having a mentor, I had to learn by trial and error. And I can say I am thankful for my problems that I have experienced in my life in ministry because it have made me stronger and, and it also made me want to help other wives in ministry. And I can say too that it also taught me how to recognize and learn God's voice. And I'm thankful for my trials because I have gained a lot of wisdom about church and people from my experiences. So if you're looking for a mentor, that's what I'm here for. And if you need to have a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can schedule a consultation with me. I will have my information in my description box below. If you're looking for a community of pastors wives, there are some good Facebook groups that you can find. The ones that I interact with are Wife in the Fishbowl, The Confidant for Pastors Wives, and Pastors Wives in Widow Support Group. I enjoy hearing from you. If you enjoyed this video and it was a help to you, please let me know in the comment section if there's a particular topic that you want me to talk more about being a pastor's wife, being a submissive wife, being a mom, and also a stepmom. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you for tuning in and make sure you stay tuned for my next video because that's going to be part three. And I will answer the question about how do you transition from your church to the church where your fiance is pastoring? Bye.